Ooh, Christianity is so divided. And I learned this last week, but this is how I know God working through me. On one hand, I had my family and friends in New Orleans. Everybody, every day saying, man, Trump's so racist. Look what he said now. Man, anybody that vote for Trump is racist, you heard me? And I disagree. At the same time, on social media, I have people saying, man, if you don't vote for Donald Trump, then you're not really Christian. Man, anybody that'll vote for Kamala Harris, they're not really concerned with doing God's work, you hear me? And I disagree. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris got made the stallion twerking for her, and the Republican Party and Donald Trump got Amber Rose, a self-professed atheist, on stage representing them at the Republican National Convention. And I ain't rock with either one of them decisions, y'all. Our identity in Christ is what unifies all of us. That is supposed to be the thing that comes before our racial identity, our political identity, our professional identity, and anything else. If I see a believer that's voting for a different candidate than me, I still love you, you heard me? Because we agree on the big man, and that's what we both voting for. The presidential election is a man-made event. These political parties are man-made institutions. These politicians ain't perfect by no stretch of the measure. Let's not idolize none of it and let it have us throwing stones back and forth, back and forth at each other. We need emotional maturity in the body of Christ to unify and stay unified. So let's use this, the main time in the United States that's used for a time of division, and let's use it for reconciliation.